Okay, so let's see how to use this cracked glass effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So once you download this template, you should get the zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. Now just open up this After Effects folder and you will find this actual project file, which you can just double click and open up. Or if you want, you can import into your existing project. So right now, as you can see, I have opened up After Effects and dropped a footage and I want to add a glass effect on top of it. So in that case, I can just drag and drop this project file into my project bin and it will be opened up over here. And if you just open up that, you will find these three different folders, edit, final and assets. Inside the edit, you will find the media composition. So there is five different resolution. For that, you have five different media compositions. You can add your media inside these media compositions if you want, or if you want to directly add the effects to your footage, then you don't need to add your media over here. I will show you in a moment. Next, you will find this final where you will find all of these actual uh, glass effects with uh, categorized with different resolutions. So right now I am working on full HD, which is 1920 in 1080p resolution. So I'm going to open up this folder and you will find this actual compositions, which you have to add. So now let's see how to add them. So for that, just drag and drop any glass effect you want on top of a video. And now as you can see, uh, there is some cracked lines but uh, the effects is not working over here that's because you have to do one thing over here just toggle switch mode so make sure you can see this icon over here it's called collapse transformation so make sure it's on so once you do that now as you can see the glass effect is working if you just go back over here and play uh, it will have a cracked transition in effect see it looks nice now what's cool about this effects pack, uh, you can customize the glass effects uh, extensively. So for that, double click on this glass effect over here and it will be opened up over here. In order to see what's going on underneath, you have to copy the video as well. So just copy it and come back over here and paste it and drag and drop this underneath this media composition. Now you can see what's going on over here. Now select this color control layer and from this effects control, you will find this bunch of settings. The first one is the glass effect where you can uh, increase or decrease the glass size as you can see you can give a very unique look over here and you can uh, decrease or increase the glass disperse effect if I just make this one zero as you can see it looks a box kind of thing and then you will find this refraction horizontal and vertical if you increase it it will be a lot of more refraction over here so get the idea then this is the breakpoint uh, offset and also you can control the evolution then you will find this a field of view. This is really important. With this effect, you can create very unique look. So right now the field of view orientation is horizontal. You can make this one vertical as well as diagonal. And the field of view amount, you can decrease it like 70. See, it gives very unique look. And you can also change this field of view center. So if I just click over here and make it from that side, see the glass cracks from this, this side. If you just go to the bottom, it will crack from the bottom. And you have also an invert FOV option. If you click on that, it will give a very unique look, very sharp glass look, something like that. And then you will find this glass edge. Over here, you can change the opacity, color, etc. And this, this is very important, glass smudges effect. So as you can see, there is some smudges effect to give some realistic effect. If you, do, if you don't want, you can turn off that. And you can turn off and on the horizontal and vertical. So you have the con complete control over here. You can also increase the amount or decrease it, something like that. Then you will find this blur. Uh, if I just turn on the guide, it will show where the blur happens. So in the white portion, the blur will not happen. And then in the rest of the part, the blur will happen. So if I just increase this one like uh, 30, you see there is a blur going on on the side. And then you will find this uh, crack transition. So as you can see, it transition in, but if you turn off that, it will be no transition. So that's basically it for this effects. In the same step, you can drag and drop any effects you want and create your presentation.